a story you'll see only on First Coast News tonight, a surgical procedure that will save hundreds of lives developed right here in Jacksonville. We are talking about blood clots and they can be life altering or actually they can just kill in an instant, right? But now the team at HCA Florida Memorial Hospital pioneered the area of having a team that uses a minimally invasive procedure. This picture here shows a blood clot being lassoed, huh. lassoed during the procedure. And patients are awake and the incision just requires a few stitches. Rich Donnelly is on your side tonight with an exclusive look at a procedure considered a medical breakthrough. We do want to warn you, there are some medical related graphic images of the procedure in this story. Good morning, Mr. Nesset. How are you this morning? Doing well. All right, so this is the game plan today. Calvin Nesset hasn't been able to go ballroom dancing with his wife like he used to. For several years, probably 10 or 12, I have had swelling in the lower right leg, calf and foot. The skin around his ankle was also starting to turn purple due to a blood clot that was preventing proper circulation. But Dr. Mohanad Basharat and his team at HCA Memorial have a plan. This is a procedure that's not only going to extract the clot out of the patient's leg, which will restore function and viability of the limb, but it's also very important for the uh, prevention of uh, pulmonary embolism. A pulmonary embolism is a blood clot in the lung, which can be deadly. The procedure today is a deep vein thrombosis, which will not only remove the clot from Nesset's leg, but will also prevent that clot from migrating to a vital organ like the lung, which could kill him. As the patient is wheeled to surgery, the team that will be in the room puts on protective gear. No scalpels or anesthesia will be required. The whole entire procedure is going to be done through a little needle stick here right behind the knee. And the patient is awake the whole time in order to give feedback about discomfort during the procedure. So, Nesset, you're about to feel a little pinch here behind your knee. Okay. We're here inside the cath lab where Dr. Bisharat is actively working on the patient to take out the blood clot in his leg. Dr. Basharat will insert a catheter through the incision point to follow the vein up to the site of the blood clot, all with the hopes of lassoing the clot and pulling it out, hopefully in one piece. The team monitors the progress with live time ultrasound imaging, which shows the catheter wire and even Dr. Basharat's wedding ring. It's uh, acting hard to get, but we will get it. In this imaging, the black coloring is blood, and where it stops is where the vein is clogged due to the clot. How common is it to have veins not be receptive to these catheters because they've been blocked for so long? This is one of them, in fact. Um, we quite often see a lot of uh, chronic uh, DVTs. They become more tricky and become more, uh, more difficult to cross. An obstacle that was not expected. We are trying some few tricks to go around and uh, manage to get through. I mean, we will get it. A camera on the end of the catheter shows a six millimeter balloon expanding inside of the vein to give Dr. Basharat extra space to work. All right, Mr. Nesset, that's it. We got everything we need now. We're gonna start taking out the clot. He's got the clot. And if everything goes as planned, it will come out with the catheter. We call the moments of truth. The entire team stares at the live ultrasound imaging. Long black lines will indicate blood flow. Now the vein is wide open. But those moments of success when we see the vein open is just priceless. Life changing for the patient awake on the table during the procedure. The vein was 100% blocked. A battery building a 66 year old jumper. As the catheter is removed, with it come chunks of the blood clot. But will the patient return to the dance floor with his wife? Uh, 100%. The other advantage is. Uh, we have eliminated the chance of any of these blood clots to break off and go up to the lungs and the heart and cause more damage. All from a 45 uh, minute procedure and this tiny incision behind the knee closed up with a simple stitch. Dr. Bisharat says they have seen tremendous results with this procedure. In fact, this spring, research from the team was featured in the official journal of the Society for Cardiovascular Angiography and Interventions. And you can read that journal in this story on our website. And as for Calvin Nesset, he's currently enjoying ballroom dancing with his wife. Reporting Rich Donnelly, First Coast News, on your side. That is good to hear. I'm always impressed with the advancements in medical technology.